What's going on everybody? I just had the best conversation with my new friend at Heritage Glen. Uh, Angela is one of the managers here and she's also a fellow Meadowville person, born and raised, and we just caught up, talked about the importance of connecting with the seniors and the Heritage Glen building itself, the advantage that this place has being on the path, being close to the lake, being close to the community center for doing events and keep, keeping people moving. When I was working at the uh, city of Mississauga, we always talked about the, the challenge of aging active adults and how much they are neglected in the programming around the city and in private or sectors and all these different things as well. There's just not enough stuff happening for aging active adults. So um, we talked about pickleball, we talked about the Alzheimer's walk, we talked about the seniors events, how do we connect intergenerationally with other organizations, with other groups and make things happen. So I'm really looking forward to chats with her and just connecting, supporting and especially amplifying. Like we hung out on those three words and amplify is one of those words that makes the most sense for both of us because there's a lot of great things that are happening but people aren't really thinking about how do we engage our seniors. They're the last ones to get back up and running. Your kids are back in t-ball and basketball's happening and all those things but seniors events aren't because it's such a vulnerable vulnerable population but there's a lot of strong young people in these centers that aren't getting out and getting active so how do we connect with them and how do we address that need so we're going to amplify the voices the needs the organizations that are supporting groups like heritage glenn so that was fun looking forward to working more with them and truth be known even if i wasn't campaigning i'm so glad that i met with them and i will probably continue to do work with them they need a Pilates class. They need exercise, they need movement, they need joy, and all those things are gonna come some way, shape, or form, especially if I'm rolling in as a Ward 9 City Councilor, I will continue to amplify the voice of people like Angela and all the amazing work she's doing for the community here at Heritage Glen. All right, party people, we're out. I gotta run to one more thing, and then we have a special event happening tonight. It's gonna be fun. had the best conversation with Jennifer who is on the Nextdoor app about Blooming Boulevards. I didn't even know about this so like this is my crash course in understanding that that piece of grass between your sidewalk and the street is the boulevard that is owned by the city so that they can do service lines, gas lines, all the stuff is on that side so it's not on your property and Blooming Boulevards is one of the organizations that provides plants for you to plant on that side to beautify your area. So there's a piece on the Nextdoor app about Blooming Boulevards and, and how um, a group in uh, Smith Falls um, had no grass and had a lot of plants and there's a lot of pushback from city council and actually more from the community doing this low key um, attack to get them to, to change that and then city council pushed back against it. It was a bigger conversation about community, beautifying the community, and just conversation on things you want to see. And lawyers were saying that the people in neighborhood residents were leveraging the bylaw officers to, to uphold an aesthetic. And I thought that was some strong language when there should really just be communication like this lady had with her neighbors about what she's going to do and how it's going to look and find something that works for everybody. That's true community. That's real community. That being said, I went and saw her amazing spot. Like it was really cool to see it. I learned a lot about plants today as well. Got some great ideas for my backyard and I'm probably gonna get her to uh, be my consultant and do our backyard for us. Well, maybe not, but it was fun nonetheless. So I learned a lot, uh, learning more about our community, learning about what is truly community when it comes to things like that. Learning about plants and beautifying our neighborhoods. And I keep talking about support, amplify, and connect. Amplify, beautify, uh, Blooming Boulevards is a great organization that provides plants to do that sort of thing. Check them out. There's a link for a sale that they're having soon as well. Uh, this lady, Jennifer, volunteers with them, so I'm sure she has lots to say about that too. Support Amplify Connect. Read for Ward 9. That's what's up. That is the end of a day. So I finished off this day by going to 
the city of Mississauga for a little bit of a banquet and appreciation dinner for the Mayor's Black Caucus group that I'm a part of where uh, we received these in very nice certificates uh, acknowledging the work that we did on the black community ex uh, engagement initiatives that we did. We ran a bunch of town halls uh, last year and uh, talked about policing, affordable housing, civic engagement, and just connected to the community and got feedback from the black community and from the community at large on what they think about how we could address anti-black racism, economic empowerment, and all those pieces of the puzzle to allow people to feel that they're included, heard, valued, and seen. Now, before people start to challenge me on that, like, why not we do this for other communities? Uh, there is so much systemic racism that's happened over the years for black people. And that's a truth um, that we see and how it's impacted the community. But the thing that I want to highlight the fact is that when we make way for one people, we make a way for all people. So what the black community's experience and how we're paving this path is going to make a way for every, every other people group that has felt othered, whether that is one community or another, I don't have to mention every single community, but when we make a path for one group, that opens the door for other groups to look at them and say, how can we make sure that this is including everybody? Even down to captions in the videos, making sure that people who have uh, hearing challenges can engage in these chats and these posts. So all those things are things that we're doing to make sure that this is a safe and inclusive, inclusive community for everybody. Everyone has the opportunities to grow, live, and enjoy this community. So that was the end of my day after being at Heritage Glen and meeting with uh, Jen and talking about plants and blossoming boulevards. And I learned so much today. And being in front of this group of very inspiring people, um, gives me that boost that I need to be able to do the work I want to do at the city as a city councilor. So thank you to everyone in that room, uh, the advisor team, Mayor Bonnie for uh, being a listening ear, a supportive, genuine supporting person through this process. People were saying that, like people give lip service to these things, maybe to get an election or whatever, but two years back, you were involved, you were doing it. So uh, thank you so much to everyone who's involved. Thank you for cheering us on. And I hope that the work that we're doing here will continue into other communities and we can lead the way and lead the way with just being a, a community where everyone feels like they belong.